Syed, if you are talking, your mic is currently muted. Uh, hi, how are you doing? Perfect, we can hear you. Okay. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, everyone. My name is uh, Said Rashid. I'm a fourth year medical student from Sudan, and I'm currently SCORE Regional Assistant for Africa for this term. Uh, I can't wait to see you all in Rwanda, and I hope that you are going to benefit from this webinar. Perfect. And then we have Isidoros. Hello, guys. Uh, my name is Isidoros. You can call me Isi for short. That's my IFMSA nickname. I am a fourth year medical student from Greece and I am serving as a NORI for the second term in Helmsic. Uh, good evening uh, to all who are attending this webinar. Hope to see you soon in Rwanda this March and have all together uh, productive uh, score sessions. Perfect, thank you. Um, so today, um, we will uh, be talking about a few things. Uh, first of all, for SCORI sessions, we will also introduce the SCORI sessions team, first of all. Uh, those are the people who will be uh, delivering and have been organizing the sessions. Uh, then we will talk about the SCORI sessions agenda uh, to show you, first of all, the agenda to talk about the sessions we will have, including regional uh, SCORI sessions, joint sessions with other standing committees, small working groups, and a problem-solving session uh, inside the SCORI sessions. Then uh, we will explain how you can prepare for March meeting 2020 uh, in terms of voting rights and in terms of uh, the regulation change proposals uh, that uh, we will be voting on during the SCORI sessions. We'll also share a to-do list to summarize everything that should be done before the March meeting and uh, the SCORI survival kit. Then we will move on to, of course, the exchange fair, which, which is a very popular event during the March meeting uh, where, well, all NMOs can, can share uh, their exchange program and um, we'll give a few tips and tri tricks as well as uh, details and logistical details uh, about the exchange fair. And we'll end with a list of what you shouldn't forget to bring. And if you have any questions, uh, you can write them down in the chat or in the comments on Facebook, and we will be answering them at the end of the webinar. So first, um, I will start with uh, the introduction of the sessions team. So this is the group of people uh, who has been working very hard in the past months to prepare for these sessions uh, and who will be delivering the sessions during the March meeting. Um, you can approach, of course, me or, or any member of the sessions team at any time uh, with any question. Uh, you can always uh, just also approach them if you want to have uh, any tips regarding exchanges, um, and we're available at all times. So first, uh, there's me from uh, BEMSA Belgium. Then we have Mark, who is the SCORI External Development Assistant from uh, BVMD Germany. We have Syed, who is also here with us uh, from Medicine Sudan. He's the current regional assistant for Africa. We have uh, Veronica Moreno, who is uh, from AMEF, Mexico, and she currently serves as the regional assistant for the Americas region. Then we have Kevin uh, from Indonesia. He's currently the Nori of Indonesia, but also serves as the regional assistant for the Asia Pacific region. We have Dunia from IFMSA Serbia. She is the regional assistant for uh, the European region. Um, Dunia is unfortunately not attending SCORI sessions. Uh, she's going to uh, be in the president sessions as she's also the president of IFMSA Serbia, um, but she will be in SCORI sessions uh, as well. So you will see her and especially during regional sessions as well. Then we have Kaike from IFMSA Brazil, who is one of the SCORI supervising board members. We have Ruben uh, from AX Catalunya. He's also a SCORI supervising board member. Daniel from Moldova, uh, as well as SCORI supervising board member. Christopher, who is from BVMD Germany. 
he is a former SCORI supervising board member and uh, will be support person for the SCORI sessions at March meeting. Um, we have Isidoros, who is the current Nori of Helmsic, Greece, and is here today with us as well. Safa, the Nori of IFMC Morocco, and Amash, the Nori of IFMC Pakistan. So this group of people will uh, be uh, uh, will be the sessions team. Uh, so you will see us at all times during the scoring sessions as we will be facilitating uh, facilitating them. Uh, and you can approach, of course, any member of the sessions team uh, during the sessions. Then we have uh, the agenda of the March meeting. Uh, before we go on to discuss the specific SCORI sessions, um, I'm just going to explain very briefly how the general agenda of the March meeting looks like and what types of sessions we have. Um, so the March meeting, of course, starts on the 1st of March, which is the arrival day. Uh, on arrival day, there are not a lot of things. It's just uh, a plenary, which is mostly attended by the NMO presidents, um, followed by uh, the opening ceremony and uh, a social program. On day one in the morning, we will start with scoring sessions. Um, and then there will be lunch and NMO hour. Um, NMO is uh, basically one hour where you sit down with all the delegates of your NMO to discuss um, how March meeting is going and also what will happen later during the plenaries and what has to be voted upon. Then there is the theme event, uh, which is uh, this year uh, strength strengthening universal health coverage through primary health care. Um, and this is a session with uh, external guests who will also uh, speak. Then there will be regional sessions, which uh, is the time where all the five regions come together with their members and they discuss and tackle regional problems. And inside those regional sessions, there will also be regional scory sessions. Then um, after dinner, there is a TO NMO buddy system. Uh, so all every NMO has around four to five buddies and then someone in the team of officials uh, that is their contact person and they come together uh, to also discuss uh, how they are feeling during March meeting and they discuss and tackle specific topics. Um, and on the evening of day one, there is the National Food and Drinks Party, which is of course a very popular event during March meeting where all countries bring typical foods and drinks from their country and um, you go around um, all the stands uh, to try them. Then in the morning of day two, specific for uh, exchanges, we have the exchange fair, which will happen from 10 a.m. until uh, 11, uh, until 13 uh, p.m. until lunch. Uh, so we have about three hours of exchange fair. Um, but we will talk about exchange fair later on. Then after lunch, also related to SCORI sessions, is the joint sessions. We will have two joint sessions with uh, other standing committees. So it's the time to actually come together between standing committees and uh, find overlap between our work. And the rest of the day is focused on plenaries. Um, plenaries are the decision-making bodies of uh, of IFMSA, so it's where, um, for example, the new executive board of IFMSA will get elected during March meeting where uh, changes to the IFMSA bylaws are voted upon, uh, where new members um, are getting elected and uh, where all the important decisions are being taken. On day three, there is again scoring sessions uh, followed by lunch and NMO hour. There is also the EB debate. Um, because the new IFMC executive board is getting elected during March meeting, there is time for the debate where uh, everyone can ask them questions and they enter into a debate uh, with each other um, because actually on the, because the next day um, there will be elections for the new executive board. There is again regional sessions that is similar to day one regional sessions and plenary. On the morning of day four, there is the activities fair, 
um, which is where um, where all NMOs can present activities, um, and they have it's similar to exchange fair, but then for activities that NMOs conduct, uh, but you have to apply uh, before that, and NMOs have to apply to have a stand at activities fair. Um, then there is a theme event again. Um, the theme event on day four is different from the theme event on day one because it will be tackled from a standing company perspective. So there will be different parallel theme event sessions and there will be one related to SCORI. Um, the rest of the day is again focused on SCORI sessions and plenary. And on day five, it's mostly uh, SCORI sessions followed by plenary and the day will end with the closing ceremony and social. Uh, so you see that we have scoring sessions on the morning of day one, on the morning of day three, on day four, and uh, on both the morning and afternoon of day five. And Isidoras will go um, more in detail on the scoring sessions agenda now. So uh, hello again. In this slide, uh, you can see the more specific score sessions agenda. As you can see, we will have uh, score sessions starting from uh, day one, March the second, till uh, day five, March the sixth, and they will mostly be held during uh, morning and early afternoon hours. And uh, we will now uh, get. Uh, we are going to see. Uh, more thoroughly uh, on each day what uh, exactly uh, what topics will we discuss so next slide please uh, so uh, the first day of score sessions it will be monday the 2nd of march and uh, we are going uh, to begin with some introductions and team building games in order to get to know each other better after that uh, we will have uh, two parallel sessions uh, the one of them will be introduction uh, to score this is will be for uh, newcomer members and uh, the other one will be updates on the work of the SCORE international team and the SCORE strategic plan uh, for more experienced members on the field of uh, research exchanges and noise especially. Uh, next we will have the sharing and scanning session in which we're going to discuss uh, topics that uh, concern all NORIS around the world and try to find solutions to address them efficiently. Uh, some Norris will talk about their experiences on some uh, fields and problems that they may have faced in the past and what did they do in order to tackle them. And uh, one day is going uh, to conclude the day one with uh, some parallel trainings delivered by, yeah, by the sessions team uh, members. And you can see the topics are on the slide as well. Uh, so moving on the second day of uh, score sessions, uh, we will have, of course, our very famous exchanges fair, where NMOs from every region will have the chance to promote their exchange program uh, through promotional posters and merchandise that they have specifically designed for this occasion. Uh, as you can see, it will last for uh, two and a half hours and we will discuss some more details uh, about the fair in the upcoming slides of this webinar. And uh, on the afternoon, we will have uh, two very interesting uh, joint sessions. The one will be together with uh, SCORP, the Standing Committee on uh, Human Rights and Peace. It will be about the right to information and open access, open education and open data. And the second joint session will be together with uh, SCOMI, the Standing of, uh, Committee on uh, Medical Education, on uh, basic research uh, competencies for uh, medical students. So uh, on our third day, uh, we will begin again with some building activities, uh, team building activities, and then we are going to have uh, three small working groups together with SCOPI, in uh, which we are going to discuss uh, some matters that uh, concern exchanges in general. Uh, more, inf more information on these topics will uh, be announced soon. 
And after that, we are going to split again into two parallel sessions. Uh, the first one will be on how to deliver efficiently a pre-exchange uh, training uh, and a UAP training, upon arrival training, uh, in your NMOs, while the other session, uh, the supervising board candidates will have the chance to present their candidatures and after that we will discuss the regulation change proposals that have been submitted and uh, this is a very important part of the agenda actually uh, in order to have a good voting procedure uh, the next day. And uh, we will finish uh, the sessions of day three with uh, an IT and World Cafe in order to ask uh, and share uh, all of your questions and give input to different topics and subjects that, that they concern all of us. So uh, on uh, day four, uh, uh, we will uh, start uh, with uh, the activity sphere, but uh, we will also uh, hold a parallel uh, scientific poster fair in which uh, participants that they have uh, participated in a research project will have the, the chance to present uh, their research work through a poster there. And after that, we will have the SCORI related uh, theme event, which will be on access to research and research education. And <clears throat> we are going uh, to conclude uh, our day with uh, some uh, parallel trainings delivered again from the sessions team members. You can see the topics uh, on your screen. And of course, uh, with uh, a parallel session on the marketing and promotion in exchanges for not so experienced members. And of course, the very important uh, voting on uh, both on the regulation change proposals and the supervising board uh, candidates. And moving on, on the final day of uh, the SCORI sessions, we will have in the morning some parallel trainings uh, again uh, with SCOPY. At this time, these trainings will be facilitated by the newly graduate exchange trainers from the pre uh, uh, GA TNET. And uh, after that, we will have another uh, problem solving uh, session in which we are going to discuss about problems that have been faced uh, from all of us. Uh, in the past or there are still existing uh, problems and what we can do all together in order to tackle them. And uh, in, uh, after that, uh, we will have uh, another round of parallel sessions. Uh, the first one will be the very traditional uh, session on how to find tutors and fill a project form correctly, delivered by our lovely supervising board members. And the other one will be uh, about uh, SCORI initiatives other than research exchanges. And uh, in the afternoon, we will play uh, an interactive game in order to recap uh, everything that we said uh, during uh, the, this March meeting score sessions. Uh, we will share the small working group and uh, outcomes and all the other outcomes of, uh, of the sessions so far. And of course, we will close uh, these sessions with our group uh, photos and the competition for uh, the NMO that will uh, host the banner for the, the next month until the August meeting in Panama. So this is it uh, from me. Okay, um, perfect. Syed, uh, we'll go on with the regional sessions agendas then. Okay, hi again. So for the regional sessions, uh, it's the time when uh, participants from a single region uh, sit together to discuss the common problems that they face in their region and try to solve these problems. As usual, um, SCORI and SCOBI um, have uh, regional sessions together uh, because we want to discuss uh, the main problems that exchanges face uh, in different regions. So for the regional sessions, it will take place either on day one or day three of the March meeting based on the region. And we have five regions, therefore we will have five regional sessions. For the African sessions, it will be presented by me. We are going to discuss common issues uh, of the region. Uh, also are going to discuss capacity building on regional, national, and local levels. And there will be time for questions and answers.
uh, for the American session, it will be uh, presented by Veronica. Uh, Vero is uh, the America's regional assistant. Uh, they are going to talk about exchange strategy of Americas after the America's regional meeting, uh, what the new ideas that they can have in the region, and also there will be session about frequent asked questions. For Asia Pacific, it will be presented by uh, Kevin, uh, SCORI regional assistant for Asia Pacific. They are going to have interactive capacity building session, uh, including the future opportunities of capacity building regarding exchange in the region, and also questions and answers session. For the EMR, it will be presented uh, with Safa, uh, who is IFM's Amoro Konori. Um, they are going to discuss stereotypes of EMR exchange students, uh, in addition to the role of EMR uh, in SCORI strategy. Uh, and lastly, we have Europe. Uh, the regional sessions of Europe will be presented with Dunia, um, SCORI regional assistant for Europe. Um, they are going to talk about team building, European exchanges overview, and they will have small working groups. Next. Uh, for the joint sessions, as you know that SCORI um, has different common topics with other standing committees. So we are going to have a joint sessions on day two uh, from 15 uh, to 16.30. Um, the first joint session will be when the owls and bandas work together about basic research competence framework it will be a joint session with SCOMI. So basically, basic research competences mean that um, there are essentials, knowledge, and skills that medical students should have about research. And this is something that we as a SCORE international team now working on. The other joint session will be with SCORP about the right to information, open access, open education, and open data. Uh, open access means that uh, we want the research outputs to be shared without any barriers regarding access. And we're going to discuss this from a human rights perspective and its relation to the 19th article of uh, basic human rights. Next. For small working groups, small working groups is a session focused on working in a small uh, group on a specific topic and working towards a specific outcome. Um, this outcome will help in the development of our um, uh, beloved dark blue uh, committee. So we're going to have two different types of small working groups. We will have SCORI only small working groups and joint SCORI SCORI small working groups. This is going to take place on day three from 9.30 to 10.45. Uh, regarding the topics of these small working groups, um, we still didn't decide the final topics yet uh, because we opened a call for inputs from um, the noise and uh, participants who are going to attend the March meeting. Um, the deadline uh, will be the February the 4th. So your opinions are important for us. So please try to fill the form. Next. Uh, regarding problem solving, um, it's when we discuss common problems in small groups with possible solutions. Um, of course, we have different problems uh, in different countries and animals. Um, so when we have a time to set together, uh, we can have um, possible solutions for these problems. This is going to take place on day five from 11 to 12 a.m. Um, regarding the topics that we are going to discuss, uh, it's similar to the small working groups. Um, so please fill the form and uh, try to share your problems with us in order to be able to solve them. Next. Um, advice for the sessions, um, always be on time, because as you see that we have very hectic schedule and we want to get the most benefit from it. Um, also, don't wait and be proactive. Um, take notes because this is something uh, will help you when you're back to your NMO uh, and you are working on implementing what you learn and share it with other members uh, in your NMO. Um, don't be shy and ask questions. and. Um, here I'm talking on behalf of SCORI IT and uh, the session team members that your questions um, make us happy. So please don't be shy and ask questions. Um, no phones. We don't want any something that can interrupt our work and we need your full uh, focus and concentration. So please, um, no phones. Interact and communicate. Uh, one of the best benefits from IFMS A events that it give you the chance um, to have lifelong friends from different countries. So 
uh, you need to interact and communicate with other participants uh, and don't miss this chance. Um, finally, you need to be respectful because we are coming from different religions, from different countries, from different backgrounds, and we need to respect, uh, respect each other. Moving back to you, Matthew. Perfect, thank you. Um, thank you a lot. Uh, moving on to uh, more uh, preparations uh, for March meeting 2020 SCORI sessions. Um, I'll first be talking a bit about the voting rights tasks. Um, if you are a Nori, this is extremely important because uh, you need to obtain voting rights in order to vote during the SCORI sessions. Um, and most NMOs have actually obtained voting rights yesterday as this was the deadline. But should you not have um, obtained voting rights yet, please, uh, please do so as soon as you can uh, because it's important to be SCORI active and to vote during the SCORI sessions. Uh, there were four voting rights tasks. Uh, the first one was about updating all your research projects in the uh, in the database um, so that exchange students know which projects are available. Submitting the NORI report, which is important for us to have statistics about all the NMOs and their exchange programs. Submitting the late card of acceptance statistics form, uh, which is important because we need to know how many late card of acceptances were sent out. And uh, the last one is to update your profile on the exchanges platform. Normally, uh, all NMOs have obtained their voting rights already. There's just a uh, three, four NMOs left um, who have yet to do it. And uh, obtaining voting rights is important because um, during SCORI sessions, we will be voting on regulation changes. Um, so the SCORI regulations, of course, um, explain how our exchange program is regulated and in case of problems we go back to them um, and uh, we can decide on 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 procedures there uh, and that's why our regulations are very important and whenever there are changes we uh, we vote on them during general assemblies so if you are a nori um, of a score active nmo you will have a vote uh, during the scoring sessions or if you're not attending uh, someone of your NMO can uh, represent you and also cast a vote. Um, there are regulations that are proposed both by the SCORI IT, but also some of them are proposed by NORIS. Um, and uh, today we won't be talking about how the regulations work and how the regulation changes are voted upon. Mm -hmm. But next uh, weekend, we have a webinar specifically um, to talk about all the regulation changes, uh, to first explain um, the, the timeline of discussions, because on day three, we'll have discussions, and on day four of scoring sessions, the voting, explain where you can give input and where you can discuss, and also explain all the procedures when it comes to uh, making amendments to regulations changes uh, and how you can vote. So um, especially if you are a Nori or if someone is representing you at the March meeting, make sure that you uh, either watch the webinar next Saturday live or uh, you look at it later um, throughout this month. To sum up what uh, you should do before uh, March meeting, um, there are just a few tasks uh, to do. The first is of course to read the survival kit. Um, survival kit is not out yet. Uh, once it is out, it will be shared over uh, SCORI communication channels such as Facebook um, and email. Participate in the regulation changes proposals discussion, both online. There will be time to uh, discuss all the regulation change proposals and on day three during the SCORI sessions. There is time uh, specifically to discuss between Norris all the regulation changes uh, before the voting on day four. If you have any topics that you would like to submit as a small working group uh, or for the problem solving session within the SCORI sessions, you can do so still until the 4th of February. Um, and of course, we appreciate any proposals that we get from, uh, from Norris. And the last one is to read any manuals and to stay tuned um, on, on all the information and manuals that are shared um, 
by the SCORI IT and session team over the SCORI servers uh, before the March meeting so that you are prepared uh, for the sessions. So as I said, the SCORI survival kit is not out yet. That's why I have uh, screenshotted the previous year's survival kit. Uh, but once it is out, it will be shared. Um, and the same content as in this webinar will be explained, but in words, uh, so that you can uh, read it at any time and also bring it to March meeting and so that you have the agenda uh, on paper or on your laptop, of course. And then we move on to more information about the exchange fair, which Isidoros will explain. So uh, we will now talk a bit more about the exchanges fair and see what it is and share with you some uh, tips and tricks for this. So uh, exchanges fair is basically the part of the agenda where uh, all uh, exchange officers are going uh, to come together and uh, its NMO will present uh, the exchanges of its country to uh, the other uh, participants. Uh, so it will be held in the second day uh, of the scoring sessions from 10 o'clock till uh, 1 o'clock. It will last uh, for three hours. And uh, what you will have to do is basically to create uh, a poster together uh, with SCORI. The format of the poster uh, is, uh, has been shared and you can also find it uh, in the NORI folder. It has a very uh, specific fo uh, format that uh, you have to, to follow and you can also uh, bring uh, and uh, some uh, promotional material that you have designed in your NMO specifically for this occasion, but uh, try to uh, keep it as eco-friendly as possible and uh, reduce waste uh, at all times. Um, so moving on to uh, some uh, tips and tricks for uh, your presence in the exchange fair. Uh, first of all, you have to uh, arrive early at the exchange fair uh, hall. Uh, you have to be there at uh, 8 a.m. Uh, sharp and you won't have a lot of time, so try to prepare as many things as possible uh, in advance from your materi materials. You will be assigned with uh, one small table and a wall to stick uh, your poster on it. And of course, uh, you can carry other stuff such as your promotional material, your merchandise from the NMO, some foods, your flags and uh, stuff like this. Um, so you have to organize your designated area and decorate it in order to be attractive and uh, to promote your exchanges in the best way possible. Uh, another very important detail is that only two people from SCORI and two people from SCOPI can attend uh, the exchange fair and can be present at uh, all times in the hall. So four people in total from each NMO can be present uh, there. And you also have to focus on the educational activities that you organize uh, for your exchange students and, of course, your other academic quality initiatives that you may have. And always keep in mind, of course, that uh, through your presentation, you will have to convince uh, the rest of the people to come to your country for an exchange. So put your best to work. And of course, as every year, we will uh, also have the exchanges first uh, competition uh, in which undercover judges will be in the room and evaluate your uh, presence in the fair uh, based on some criteria. And of course, if you uh, win at this competition, you will be crowned during the March meeting uh, closing ceremony. So the criteria based on which you will be evaluated are uh, the following, as you can see. Uh, is how well you provide the uh, general information for uh, your exchange in your NMO, uh, the uh, presence and uh, how well you uh, present academic quality initiatives uh, and your the social program as well of uh, your exchanges, the promotional material you will carry with you and whether or not are eco-friendly, or you should always keep in mind uh, that factor. And of course, both the visual and the verbal, the verbal presentation of your poster and your exchanges program. Perfect. Um, and then a last 
slide uh, will be presented by Syed uh, about some last reminders before March meeting. Okay, these are things that you need not to forget. First of all, your Nori stamp. And after that, you need to read the uh, SCORI survival kit and all the documents sent through the SCORI server before the March meeting. As I mentioned earlier, that you are going to have joint sessions with other standing committees. So further information about the registration of these um, joint sessions will be shared during the next days and weeks. So you need to be updated about very important information. Um, of course, at all times, it's important to read your emails, but at this time, uh, important information will be shared. Um, also, we have hard copies of invitation letters. Um, this is the time uh, that you can ask your fellow noise uh, if they want an invitation letter, a hard copy invitation letter from your NMO, uh, you need to send them um, the process of getting one. And of course, don't forget to bring it with you to the March meeting. Also, we have the exchange fair poster and merchandise from your country. Uh, please bring all the goodies and show us the beauty of your country, but remember to be eco-friendly. Uh, also, don't forget to bring your SCORI t-shirt and SCORI blue things for, all, uh, for our blue party. And of course, we will need you to have your flag and if your animal have a mascot to bring it with you uh, for all the pictures and photos that you are going to have. Okay, perfect. Um, and a last thing um, is if you want to get more information and if you want to stay tuned about all the latest information, uh, for example, the survival kit will be shared through the SCORI um, communication channels as well as uh, registrations or important information. Um, so please subscribe to the SCORI server um, and join the SCORI Facebook group. So for the SCORI server, you can just subscribe uh, by sending an empty or a blank email to uh, I can say score subscribe at yahoogroups.com um, and to join the Facebook group um, you can just look up standing committee on research exchange on uh, on Facebook and, and you will find the group uh, or you can follow uh, this link here um, to get all the latest information about our standing committee. So um, with this webinar, um, we try to give you an overview of, um, of the SCORI sessions uh, at the upcoming March meeting 2020, both which sessions we will have and uh, how you can prepare for the March meeting 2020 uh, before you arrive there. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask them right now in either the Zoom chat or on Facebook, uh, and we can answer them right here. Uh, if you do have further questions, uh, you can also, of course, always email uh, me at scorid at uh, or send a message. Um, yeah. I will just be waiting for uh, 30 seconds to see if anyone has a question. If there are no questions, we will be ending the webinar. Um, a last uh, word, um, thank you to all attending the webinar. It will be available, of course, on YouTube for everyone who is not able to attend at this time uh, of the day or, or not today. Um, and there are still uh, forms open. For example, if you have input on smoking group topics or problem solving topics, um, and a lot of information for Norris will be shared about all the regulations, SB candidates uh, that have to be voted uh, at March meeting, 
uh, information about exchange fair was already shared and further information will be shared throughout the month of February. Uh, so please make sure that you are subscribed to the relevant channels um, and that you read all the emails and information that is shared about March meeting preparations. Uh, the better you are prepared, <laughs> the, the, the better the sessions will be. Um, on behalf of the whole sessions team, we hope to see you uh, at March meeting 2020 uh, and especially in SCORI sessions. Um, and we hope that this webinar was, was able to provide you with some more information about how SCORI sessions will look like uh, and how you can prepare for it. So if there are no further questions, we'll be ending the webinar. Maybe Syed and Isidoros, you can have a last word as well. Okay, guys, so one last thing that uh, please don't forget to bring with you is your enthusiasm and passion about SCORI. Can't wait to see you in Rwanda. Okay, uh, thanks to everyone who attended this webinar. Uh, see you all in uh, Rwanda this March and have a good night. Perfect. Thank you very much to everyone, uh, and especially to Syed and Isidoros for, um, for the webinar. Uh, and we hope to see you very soon um, in uh, Rwanda uh, within 30 days even. So thank you a lot, um, and we will see you uh, very soon. <laughs>